So what is going on everyone, Fernando Silva here with another video and if you guys have watched the channel you notice that I have custom icons on my iPad Pro on iPadOS 14.5 and we actually created those icons, we created an icon pack that you guys actually went out and supported the channel with so huge thank you to those people that actually purchased the icon pack and set up their home screens and things like that but what I wanted to do is actually show you how to physically customize and change the native Apple and App Store icons to the icons that you want, which are the ones that you downloaded, whether it is my icon pack or any other one that you purchase or create yourself as well. Because obviously the biggest question that I get when people do purchase the icon pack is, hey Fernando, how do I actually start to set this up a little bit? So without further ado, let me show you how to actually do it. It's a little bit time consuming, but once you do it once, you never have to do it again. But let's get right into it. <music> So let's get started with the actual walkthrough of how to do this, right? So if you guys can see my screen, you can see that obviously my icons on the bottom are totally different. They're all in this white colorway. I got my cool background here. And you can also see that I have an empty screen. So there's nothing on my home screen aside from the actual menu over here, aside from the widgets that I like to keep on my home screen and keep them on there. So the first thing you do, always have this turned on. That way it doesn't slide away. And that makes it look a little bit weird to me. It doesn't make it feel like it's kind of like a a computer, right? This, having this here for some reason makes it seem like it's a computer because I have info at a glance and then my main use applications are down here on my dock. And one quick thing that I do want to show you guys is you can actually move multiple icons at the same time. So before I actually had all my icons just on this home screen right here, right? But what you can do, which I'm going to show you is if you go into wiggle mode, start to move them around and then start to click on the other ones, you can now stack them move them over and then let them go. And that's how I was able to get rid of my home screen and all those applications so quickly instead of having to move every single app one by one. So if I do it again, hold down, press these over, move it over to the right. That's a little tip that not a lot of people know and people forget about as well. So that is how the home screen is set up. But now what I wanna show you is how to actually create those shortcuts. And like I said in the beginning, it is a little bit time consuming in the beginning, again, when you first do it, because you'd have to set up each app individually. I wish there was a way to mass set applications or maybe have an icon pack and just kind of import it in and those applications automatically become those icons. But hey, you know, Apple's slowly letting us customize everything, so I'm not gonna force it too much or complain too much. But first thing you gotta do is go into shortcuts. So open up your shortcuts app and here you can see just exactly how it's all done. Pretty much you can see right here that each one of these shortcuts is basically a different icon that I had to go through, right? So I'm gonna do one from scratch just to show you guys. So if we go into the shortcuts menu, this is the main menu in the all shortcuts. You just press this little plus sign up here on the top left. And then the next thing you wanna do is press the scripting button. So go over to this little X that says scripting. You're gonna press open app. So you're gonna choose which application you wanna open with this new icon. And let's say I wanna open up Bleacher Report for instance, right? And then what you do after that is tap on these three little dots on the top name the shortcut so bleach your report right you can either share it show on your apple watch whatever the case may be and then what you want to do is press add to home screen and then this is where it all changes right so you want to change the name because basically what's going to happen is whatever's going to show up on your home screen is what you put in this little box right here so shortcut name so shortcut name will be bleach report and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the icon so this is where you change the physical picture of the icon you know, you just open it up, you can choose a file, choose a photo, or even take one. So what's cool about this is that you don't need like an actual icon. You can make this icon whatever you want it to be. It can be a picture of your face, it could be a custom icon like I'm showing you here, it could be an image from Google, whatever you want it to be, it can be that. So you can just choose photo. I'm gonna go into my albums, go into my icon. I'm gonna choose a random one because I don't have the actual icon saved on my iPad Pro. It's in another file. But let's just choose, this is the Spotify one. Press use, you can even move it to scale, you know, do whatever you want to it. Use that, press add done go back to my shortcuts and then let's go back to the home screen and then you can see that now bleach report is now its own custom icon now I still have the bleach report app as you can see right here but it's in my old home screen or it's in one of these folders in the sport folder right so that's another thing you cannot delete the original app from your home screen you just have to put them in a separate folder or do what I do so like I categorize all my applications based on what they're used for which I wish iPadOS had the app library so I wouldn't even have to do this because I could just actually get rid of them from the home screen and not get rid of them from the actual device like you can do on iOS 14 on your phone. So I wish, and I do hope that they bring that over to iPadOS 15 so I can like, let's say, delete from the home screen Spotify 
or delete from the home screen bleacher report and then only have my bleacher report app showing up and then the bleacher report real application will be in the app library but this is basically how you do it and then from there it's just a matter of where you want to put it how you want to customize your actual screen and just to show you how it works you just click on bleacher report bleacher report opens but you do get this little drop down right here so let me show you guys again if i get out of here press on bleacher report you get this little drop down right here which stays there and this is obviously a much better solution to what was before because before when you would open up this custom icon you would press on bleach report the shortcuts app would open and then then it would open the bleach report app so it would be kind of wonky a little bit weird It'd be about a five second delay which would be annoying and not and too inconvenient for people to want to customize their home screens but now all they did was drop this little drop down menu right here this little drop down notification saying hey you use shortcuts to open up bleach report and that's nice and one time that it does get a little bit annoying is for instance if i go into safari the drop down menu goes and i try to type it won't let me type until that drop down menu is gone and then i can start typing so if you want like immediate access to your application like on the second access it's not going to happen with custom icons custom icons you're going to have about a one to two second delay which for most people is fine especially because you're not going to the shortcuts app anymore but sometimes it does get in the way for instance if i'm on the road and trying to use Google Maps real quick, right? That does get in the way sometimes. So I've noticed some occasions where it's a little bit annoying, but it's not annoying enough for me not to want to do this. But that is how you do a custom app icon. And again, you just have to do it for every single app that you want, and then you delete it the same way. So if you delete the app icon, it's deleting the bookmark. It's not deleting the actual application. So you can see that Bleacher Report is still right there. So let's get out of this view and go to the normal view. So that is how you actually customize and change your icons on both iOS and iPadOS. So you do need to use the shortcuts in order for it to happen because technically you're running a shortcut every single time you open a custom icon. I'm just glad Apple reverted to this new way of showing off the shortcut as opposed to going from the icon to the shortcut application to then the application that you want. So kudos to Apple for helping us out a little bit. I do wish that they got rid of the little shortcuts drop down that comes down because it does delay using the application for about a second or two. For instance, if I open Safari and I try to type right away where the URL bar is, I can't type right away because I have to wait for that drop down to either go back up or I have to swipe it out, out of the way myself and then start using it. So there is about a two second delay in accessing of that application, but hey, to each their own and I think it's worth it to have a cool icon pack like this, give a little bit more personality and a little bit more customization. But that's gonna do it for this video. I'm gonna leave the icon pack link below if you guys do wanna try it out and you know customize your own screen because it does come in that white colorway that i have a black colorway orange blue gray and a lighter black as well so those are all the packs that you get with that single purchase if you guys do want to support the channel by all means go for it but that's going to do it for this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and until next time hopefully you guys learn something new